Hey fellas, um, how are all of my fellow Joe fans doing right about now? Um, if you're like me, and I suspect you are, you're still uh, flying high on the buzz of the drug that is G.I. Joe Retaliation, <laughs> the movie, the amazing G.I. Joe movie uh, that I just saw last night. And I, you know, <clears throat> pardon me. I just had to get out some G.I. Joe reviews. So now what we're looking at here is the Toys R Us exclusive G.I. Joe Creel Ninja Temple Ninja Temple Battle. Sorry, I had to glance back at the box. So the Ninja Temple Battle. First of all, I decided we're going to look at the little guys. We're going to look at the little Creons that come with this set. Uh, we've got a really nice little snake eyes. Let's allow for some focus. There we go. Really nice little snake eyes figure uh, with a really nice little, uh, a little sculpted mini Uzi on top of that. You know, like, well, not a mini Uzi. It's just a, a ordinary uh, Uzi 9mm. But anyway, really, really nice nonetheless. And then you've got a sheath for his sword. You can sheath it to the side as well, but I, for snake, I prefer to just sheath it like that. So now, getting on to Storm Shadow. So Storm Shadow looks equally nice. Uh, he has the two katanas, of course, and there you see where, how, uh, this black sheath part that's on the back, for those who aren't familiar, uh, they're, they're the same for every figure, but, uh, and it allows you to either put them in crosswise or straight down. So anyway, there's that. Um, also with Storm Shadow, he also has an, adi an additional piece, which is a, like a ninja, uh, kind of like a ninja hood to go over his mask. Uh, I prefer not to use that, but you will see what it looks like very shortly as I show you the other two figures that are included with the set. And you have... You may be tempted to call these Red Ninjas, in fact I am, uh, but on the box they, they just call these Ninja Vipers. So anyway, I'm not really sure why Hasbro did that, because they, they clearly can call the Red Ninjas Red Ninjas, but anyway. So, you've got them looking equally cool. They're, um, they're both identical minifigures, uh, but one of them is with that hood piece, and one of them is without. So anyway, and they include, uh, they include a lot of accessories. They each include that same uh, back sheath accessory. And then, let's give you a look from the back. And then they both include the uh, uh, a katana each. And also they each include a black bow and arrow like that. And they all, and they both include uh, a claw, silver claw accessory like that. And they each include two silver shurikens like that. So, ow, oh, you bastard. Anyway, I'm going to pick him up later. So anyway, on with the review. So now I'm going to zoom out. All right, we're going to zoom out so I could show you the whole entirety of the set. So now you've got all of the crayons. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe that little bastard fell. I've got to grab him. Raw review, guys. Very raw review. So we're going to stand him up. There. Oh, you stubborn little bastard. Yeah. Uh, this Creon, I'm suspecting he has a little bit of extra plastic in one of his feet. And he refuses to um, refuses to stand nicely. But anyway, I'm not going to let that break the mood I'm in. I'm not going to let it throw me off. The perfectionist I am, I'm going to just still go with it. Because I'm just feeling that good right now about G.I. Joe. So, here we have the main temple piece. 
Uh, yeah, this is really, really nice. Uh, there are uh, quite a few stickers for it, but I opted not to put all of them on. But uh, I did put one sticker on this temple piece, and that you can see up top here. Uh, where the... I guess I don't really know the terminology for these things, but at the very top of the temple, uh, a nice ornamental piece with the Arashikage emblem with the two uh, oriental dragons on each side of it facing it. So then there you go. You've got the temple itself. So then, other things that this thing includes is a training device. Kind of like a, uh, yeah, like a spinning bladed training device that you can, can kind of flick it. And it kind of spins. You know, it, it's, it's a really nice effort. I, I, I really like it, but um, I was thinking about this. It could stand to be a little heavier because, you know, when you're trying to use it, it, it kind of, instead of it just spinning, it kind of just you know, it kind of gets just pushed all over the place. But anyway, there's that. And then we've got this. <clears throat> Pardon me. This is a nice little, uh, little weapon holder. And I did uh, opt to put one of the stickers on it here. We've got like a nice little oriental uh, stripe design there. Oriental design. It's really nice. So then there we go. Got the ninja weapons. And then lastly, We've got this. This is really nice. We've got like a nice little, I guess it would be kind of like a shrine for a nice uh, little, or like a, a nice uh, oriental scroll holder. Um, obviously the scroll is of uh, real importance. So anyway, and it's uh, put on this shrine like that to make it look all nice and important and coveted. But anyway, there you go guys. So that was my really, really quick review of the Ninja Temple Battle. I almost forgot the name again, but anyway. Hope you all enjoyed this little raw review, fellas. And take care, and I'll be back again really, really soon in the very, very near future. Bye for now.